Hello my fellow admins and welcome back to a new episode of Jira Guides. Void.admin here and in this video I'll be showing you how to check and monitor Jira logs from the admin UI. So let's start. So I'm making this video because in the past days I've realized that a bunch of uh, admin Jira admins uh, do not have access to the uh, server side of uh, Jira to check the logs, right? Because let's see that you have a problem or you're creating a script for Jira. Uh, you will be able to make your life easier if you can check the logs constantly or I don't know, maybe some problems came up with Jira or a script and you can check the logs to see if uh, something is different right there, right? Uh, but not a lot of admins have access, like I've worked in the past uh, on a project where like teams were like different with each other, right? So you have the Jira administrator team. You also have the, let's say the Linux team, right? That is doing the, all the backend stuff on the Linux side. So you actually cannot check that for yourself because the Atlassian, dot, uh, the Atlassian Jira dot logs uh, is a file that is present on the server. So you cannot interact with that from the UI, right? There is an option. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm creating this video, but this is for the people that cannot check the, uh, the server logs, right? So this is like you're checking the logs only from the UI interface, right? So we have two options here that I'm thinking of. Maybe there are like other options, but uh, these are the options that I, I've personally used, uh, right? So um, let's say I give you like an example. I have a script here, right? So uh, basically this is a behavior script that will check the priority field value uh, that you select in the form. And based on that uh, value, we are prepending urgent string to the to the summary. And if the priority is below uh, below high, we just uh, remove that, right? So let's say that you are creating this from the scratch, and you want to see if you are getting uh, the correct value for the priority, uh, and you want to check in which if or else uh, uh, the priority comes, uh, right? Like the value of the priority. So let's say that here you have the, uh, I'm checking the monitor, right? So to check the, uh, the logs in script runner, you have this uh, log.warn. Uh, so I'm just putting monitor logs so I can fetch this exact string in the logs. So I know where is this value. Uh, but let's say that, let me comment this. Let's say that you want this uh, to see if it's, um, uh, if the priority gets like the right value that you're like checking here in this uh, condition. So let's say that monitor logs uh, first if, All right? So, and to monitor this in the second if, All right? So my, I'm adding this uh, so I can actually see in the logs this exact string, right? So I can check it. So. If you don't have access to the server, you cannot check if you are doing the right thing when you're writing a script, right? Because you could like mess it up. So we have two options. One is for script runner, right? So if you are using a already script runner for Jira, there is no point in having anything else because script runner is providing you um, uh, a feature inside script runner that you can check the logs from the UI. Right, so I'm speaking about the UI, the admin UI. So you, let's say that you only have access to the Jira administration UI, so you cannot go into the server here, right? To check uh, the logs and uh, whatever, right? So you only have access uh, to here. So you, what you need to do is go into script runner in order to find this, and you'll go into the browse section. And here you have this uh, search box. So you're typing here, log. So when you're scrolling down, you see this view server log files. So you just click on it. If you have Jira admin permissions on a, on your Jira server, you can uh, do this. If you don't have Jira admin permission, you cannot do it, right? So here we have the log file. Basically on Jira, you have like multiples log files. If you're using assets or insight, you also have those files here. But what we uh, need here uh, for, our, for this exact uh, guide today, it's Atlassian uh, Jira.log. So we are checking this and let's say that we are putting a number of lines 500 and we just run it. So we get a bunch of file of like logs here that we can check here. So you, you can see this, this is like the UI version of the server, but it's like showing you in the browser. 
So uh, let's uh, run this. So we had that behavior. So that behavior is working on the create screen. So uh, I'm creating an issue right now. And on this issue, I have this priority medium, right? So you see that summary, it's right now, uh, how it's called, uh, empty. And I'm checking the priority to highest. I'm changing the priority to highest. And you see now summary gets a prepend of urgent to uh, the summary that you have. And if I'm checking right now uh, the logs, let's say that I'm adding that. So the script right now is correct, right? So if it gets highest, it will add the urgent in the summary. Uh, but right now I'm, uh, I checked highest and I want to see if this urgent uh, it's placed correctly, right? So I'm going here in the, in the uh, logs. I'm running thing again. That's why with script runner, with this version, with this feature from script runner, we need to run it each time. I will show you an example and don't need to run it each time. Uh, it's with another plugin. So right now we are just control Fing this in the in the uh, in the browser and we are searching for. Uh, let me go back into the behavior because I lost it. So here we had. Uh, oh my god! I forgot to save it. That's my bad. We're just doing right now. And here, uh, we don't care about this. So here we're adding uh, monitor logs uh, first if. And I think I need to do this again and to run it because so second if, right? So now we save the changes. I forgot to save the changes. I changed the script, so that's my bad. So we need to go back right now. So at the moment it's uh, 3.49 here. Uh, so I'm checking again. We have an empty summary. So we are checking as highest and we have urgent here. So now we are checking the logs and we are running again the logs. And here we need to put this string because with this string we identify which uh, logs we need to check, which strings we need to check, right? So you can see that at uh, 15.49, I've executed that script, right? So you can see that the, the class is from the from the behavior, script runner behaviors, and we have here monitor logs first if highest, right? So clearly we are in the first if in the behavior where we change the priority to highest. And because of that, we prepend the summary to uh urgent right so now let's see if we check another uh, priority which is not high or highest and we uh, shall see if we can check this monitor logs if in the in the else right so it's not in second if it's else but you get the point right so right now i'm just clicking low and now you can see that it was removed from the summary and now if we go back scroll that's the, the the bad thing about script runner logs uh, that I don't like is that you need to go like on the bottom of the page. You don't have an option to show the latest log uh, on the top of the page right here because I know it's 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 showing you how it will show you on the server side. But I think if you implement something in the UI, you need to be uh, to make it more user friendly in order for the user to read it properly, right? Like easier. So now we need to check if we got this monitor logs second if. Uh, sorry, where is that here? And we can see that we have it the uh, low version, uh, the low uh, priority, right? Because we choose low, and this is getting the value from the priority. So we can see this now. All right. So this is what I wanted to uh, to show you with script runner, because let's say that in this example, I've used script runner uh, behavior to check the logs uh, and um, I'm basically using logs for making my life easier when I'm creating a script. I don't know. I, I'm usually working like this. I'm checking constantly the logs to see if I'm fetching the right results, if I'm in the right conditions and I'm doing the right thing. Right. So uh, this is uh, one option where you can use script runner, but there is another option which is like much more, uh, much, much better uh, than script runner. In my opinion, it's the uh, last log for Jira. So previously, I think before September last year, uh, this exact plugin was completely free. 
So you could uh, install it without paying any money into your Jira. For example, like Script Runner, it's paid. It's a paid add-on. If you already have this to create scripts for Jira, you can use a free quote-unquote free uh, feature from Script Runner that is checking the logs, right? But this is also paid. It came as paid like a few months ago, uh, and uh, you can install this. And this is a great add-on from my opinion uh, that is like mo much more user-friendly. Uh, in the UI to check the logs. So uh, I have it already installed here. So if I'm going into the uh, view logs, so what you need to do here is like just uh, go into the this search admin box and just type here last log and you click on it and you have this super nice layout. So I'm in love with this layout. So for example, I'm using on a daily basis last log, but I'm using on a, on a, on a previous version that it's not so beautiful, right? Because here we have info as blue error. You show it with uh, red. I don't know. I, I just love it. So for example, let's say that you want to check. You have also a lot of log files as you previously saw on the uh, script runner uh, feature and you can check this and you have like uh, latest log right because this is the latest one so here you also have this uh, uh, like amazing search boxes by user by time frame if you want to do the basic you just search the basic and now let's check with this version uh, the same thing for this behavior right so uh, let's check uh, this monitor log first so I'm pasting this here and I'm just uh, doing the same thing and just choose high right now. And so we have the same behavior here. And now when you are searching for it, we can see, uh, for example, it's showing as a warning because this is how uh, like I didn't set up the log level, uh, I don't know, to info or something like that. This is like the, the default, uh, the default warning section for from the script runner. So you can see here, uh, so I think these are the latest, right? So I don't know why it doesn't get, oh, so this is the high one, uh, 1554, right? So this is the same, uh, yeah, I got confused here. But you can see here that searching the same uh, and you don't need to actually like look for the exact here, you know, so you can look for monitor. But right now you have like all the, the latest logs that you uh, input, right? So we had in our previous example, highest, then low, then high, right? So you have the hierarchy here, but as you can see, this is like more, much more user friendly than script runner because you have everything here. You can just drop it. Just, I don't know, like for, for me personally, this looks better and it's like much easier to use, uh, than the script runner one. But if you cannot pay for this add on, right? Like it's justified that you can use the script runner. Uh, log files if you have script run because I don't see a point why you, you why you need to pay um, to pay this right so I don't know maybe in the future uh, a friend of mine said that uh, this could be a great add-on if they add the possibility to check the logs from the UI for other nodes right for for uh, uh, I personally use like Jira for Windows right so this is a Windows machine and I have only one node. Right, because it's a data center version, version, but it's only one node, basically it's server. But uh, you could work for a, for a, for a, a multiple node version of data center, so you have four nodes. So let's say that someone is running something on the node two. You cannot check if you are not in on the, that particular node, so you need to go on the server, you need to change this thing. So these are pretty annoying, right? So uh, his idea, it's not like his idea. He said that he will be satisfied if uh, if uh, if last log for example will be able to check or script run right to be able to check other nodes uh, uh, files from like the atlassian logs files from other nodes that will, could be awesome but at the moment it's basically the same thing what you have for last log you also have for script runner feature so you can check the logs from the ui without going into the direction of uh, going to the server if you don't actually have access to the server so that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to show you that we have these two possibilities. If you don't have access to the server as an uh, Jira administrator and you can check the logs uh, for troubleshooting, for like creating a, a new script, building a complex script and so on. So 
that was pretty much it uh, for today's video. Don't forget that I have a Discord channel uh, that I'll put you in the. I'll put it every time in the description of any video. You can. I also have like a GitHub repository where I put like uh, regularly uh, template scripts that you can freely use without any charges free. So that's it for today. Uh, and I wish you a lovely day ahead. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Peace.